I think the biggest issue plaguing young men, my generation and especially the generation to come, is the prevalence and the normalization of escapism. Escapism is when you are dissatisfied with your real life and you seek to fill that void of, of dissatisfaction with fantasy worlds, with alternate realities, with things that ultimately aren't real but make you feel like your life is cooler and happier and better than it is. The problem with this is that by engaging in escapism, you're really doing absolutely nothing to progress your life in the direction that you actually want it to go. You're keeping yourself stuck in the same place. If you're dissatisfied with your life, you should do something about it. You should work harder. You should pursue more. You should look into ways that you can improve your life. You shouldn't distract yourself from that dissatisfaction with video games and, and uh, movies and Netflix and, and pornography and stuff like that. Using escapism as a form of recreation is the biggest thing keeping you stuck in place. I know so many guys that go to work, they work all day, they come home and do nothing. They relax, which means eat junk food, watch pornography, play video games, watch TV. All forms of escapism. They're dissatisfied with their life, so they escape. Everybody kind of understands the concept of the void. We kind of all feel like we should be happy. We should be satisfied with our lives. Everything's easy. You know, life in this generation is easier than it has ever been in the entire history of humanity. So why are we so depressed? Why are we so anxious? I think the answer to that question is because we fill our lives with artificial satisfactions rather than actually addressing the desires that we have subconsciously. This void that we feel during times of no stimulation, so when you're trying to go to bed, maybe your phone's dead and you just kind of have to stare at the ceiling for a while, this void that we feel is just the realization of our subconscious mind thinking all of that shit was fake. I don't actually have a tight-knit social community that was just Instagram. I don't actually have a good sex life with a lot of sexual encounters and partners that was just pornography. I don't actually have a sense of adventure and progression in my life that was just the video games that I was playing. When you turn that shit off and you come away from it and you feel this void, rather than addressing it, many people just run back to the escapism to fill it and distract themselves away from it. This distraction from our real lives and our real desires is what I think is going to keep young men of this generation stuck on a path to mediocrity. If you are dissatisfied with your life, you work all day, you come home, and you relax by engaging in escapism, you're going to be stuck in the same place for your entire life. I think one of the biggest reasons that when people feel this void, they desire to distract themselves from it rather than engage in it and figure out why they're feeling that way and, and work to fulfill themselves and, and have a sense of purpose and fulfill their lives is because of a lack of self-confidence. It stems from self-doubt. Everybody has goals. Everybody has big goals greater than themselves that they want to pursue. I think the only difference between the people that pursue those goals and the people that distract themselves from them and turn to escapism is confidence. If you have a lot of self-doubt and you don't think that you can reach your goals, you still feel that sense of guilt and that sense of fear of failure. So you turn away and try to distract yourself with the escapism and trick your brain into thinking that you have the goals that you've set for yourself. I'm here to tell you that if you want to achieve the goals that you have, you need to stop distracting yourself from them. You can't delude yourself in escapism, trying to artificially make your life more fun and better than it actually is. If you're dissatisfied with your life, you need to do something about it and work harder, progress towards your goals to achieve the things that you want and make your life better for real, not just delude yourself in escapism, pretending that things are better than they are. So how do you change your mindset from this self-doubt and disbelief that you can achieve the things that you want to a more confident demeanor, see your goals and see the void that you feel within your life and feel motivated by it and know that you need to work towards it to achieve it and not just distract yourself and turn away from it. I think the only way forward for young men today and especially for the coming generation with the coming up of VR and alternate reality, true, absolute, horrible escapism is complete 100% dedication to dopamine detox. You need to give up all instant gratification. You need to sacrifice 
a lot of the pleasure and relaxation in your life, sacrifice that for progress towards your goals. And I'm telling you right now, if you're unwilling to sacrifice pleasure right now for the next five years, 10 years to achieve your goals in the future, I don't think there's any chance that you're actually going to get there. I think you're going to be stuck right here with your escapism for the rest of your life until you retire. Check your screen time. Check your time played on Steam. Think about all the movies you've watched, all the Netflix series you binge. Now think about what if I took all of those hours and instead of wasting them on things that ultimately don't matter and don't get me anywhere, what if I, in an alternate reality, had spent all that time pursuing goals, maybe working on a business, pursuing pursuing physical health goals, stuff like that? What if you had spent all that time instead of wasting it on productive things? How much farther in life would you be? The answer is so much more. You would have achieved so much more if you had, would have never wasted all that time on that escapism. Think about the alternate version of yourself that instead of playing video games, watching porn, escaping, engaging in social media, does absolutely none of that and spends all day, every day being productive, working on his mental health, his physical health, his education, his business, how much further along in life he would be, how much more satisfied he would be with his true life without any escapism in it. I truly believe the only way to escape this prison that modern society has kind of thrown us in is to disconnect from it completely. 100% dopamine detox, no instant gratification, no escapism, none of that. I think if you want to be successful, if you want to pursue the goals that you have, you want a successful business, you want to be happy and truly satisfied with your life, you need to disconnect. I think that's the only way forward. And if you're unwilling to do that, I think that that's just a sign to me and to the rest of the world that you've given up. You forfeited. You forfeited your life and and you're you're willing to be stuck in the rat race for the rest of your life. And if that's you, then I, I don't have much else to say to you, man. But if you truly want to succeed and you want to reach the goals that you have, I think you you need to disconnect. You need to detox. You need to sacrifice everything or else I don't think it's going to happen, man. You you got to have billionaire lottery winner type of luck to be sitting on your couch playing video games and create a billion dollar business. I just don't think it's going to happen. No, I'm not promoting hustle culture either. I don't think you should work 24-7 and burn yourself out. I think being productive doesn't just mean working. I think being productive is also exercising, eating right, having mental health habits, meditating, journaling, stuff like that. When I say that you should be productive all day, every day, I don't mean that you should just work 24-7. I think what I mean by that is that you shouldn't be wasting any time in the day. You should be doing only things that progress you further along in your life and get you closer to your goals. If you're one of these guys that kind of has one foot in the door when it comes to self-improvement, you're maybe doing it 50%. You're going to the gym, you're trying to eat right, you're trying to bulk up, and you're trying to work on a business on the side, but you're still playing video games, and you're still on social media, and you're still watching porn. I think that's better than nothing, but think about this. Think about a world-class athlete in whatever sport you're into. Do you think he's 50% in it, 50% not? Do you think he kind of has one foot in the door? Absolutely not. If you want to be at the top of the game, you want to succeed like no other, you want to achieve more than you could have ever thought possible, I don't think you can be 50% in it. You have to be 100% committed to whatever that goal is, just like a world-class athlete would be. If you're really serious about achieving your goals, making progress, and being successful, I think you really do have to sacrifice all of this escapism, all of this instant gratification. I think really that's the only way forward, and that's, that's essentially my message to you today. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.